Hey everybody, this is Fern11. Um, I'm just doing this video really quick because I'm not too happy with something that... Um, I'm not too happy with something that just happened to me. Uh, I got the Bellator 2 in the mail, and the problem is Calamaseal... <laughs> They do not handle their customer service very well. Um, frankly, like, I can see how, like, you would have... Like, I understand this is an injection, which means there's a mold, and then you put the foam into it, and that's what shapes it. So I get that when you mass-produce something, you're going to lose quality, but at the same time, the sword that I got does not look like a used sword. This looks like it's been refurbished. And frankly, like, this looks like it's been put through about a month's heavy use, like really heavy, and I actually reached out to a LARPing group that uses Kalamazoo weapons a lot because this is my first one. Maybe this is just how they look. They've said, they actually said, and actually I have the web, I have the link open to the page where I shared it, and I shared two pictures, and what they said I have a refurbished dagger. There are no holes in it. It's a great shape. None of them sound like that at all. One had a dent in it, but other than that, it's a beautiful piece. And uh, here's another one, and I shared two pictures. I would contact the customer service and show them the pictures. Hopefully, they can send you a new one. The tip hole concerns me as it comes as a bad cast in general. One has tiny holes like that, and it honestly looks like a bit of character. And so, like, generally they said, though, they don't look like this. And there was someone that responded, um, yeah, and it's just, like, it's kind of bad. And, like, they're just, I'm just, it's... It's bad. This this is bad. Like, y you don't send this as a new sword. And so, just before I go off the deep end, like, I'll show you what I mean. So, like, one example is right... And for some reason, my camera, like, the webcam does not want to focus on anything that is, like, actually close to it. So, even if I do this, like, see, it's not focusing on it. So, um, well, I can't edit it, but basically there were bubbles that formed in the mold, and when they popped, it leaves like, oh, there it goes. See, it just shifted. So there you go. So you can see there's a hole there, and then there's a bigger one here. It, it doesn't even have to be in focus for you to see that one. But then there's like, um, where is it? Here it is. So then there's another a decently sized one right here. And then there's another one here. And then like, if you look at the blade itself, like just looking along here, do you see those like black marks here? That's actually where it looks like the paint has just been stripped off of it, like it looks like there are just those micro bubbles were just everywhere and they popped and it so it like actually like stripped the paint off it. But then like even not those bubbles, but like do you see right here? Like it looks like it has just been subjected to like constant beating. Someone just posted on okay. So, okay, somebody just said, you know, there are some people in that LARPing group that actually make latex weapons that are really good. Uh, but then, like, you can see along here, again, there is that, like, it's just, it looks bad. And it's not just on that edge, either. If you look here, it is actually on both edges. 
it just looks like it's been really heavily used. Like, especially right here. This doesn't look like a new sword to me. And then, like, the fucking tip. Look at this. So, like, this hole in the center, that's supposed to be there. What that does is that makes sure that the sword is actually straight, for the most part. This hole, though, hang on, there we go, that hole, that, that hole over here, that's not supposed to be there. And neither is, like, look, look, at, look at this, too. Like, there's a discoloration there, there's a discoloration there, and, like, when it's focusing on it, you can see how the paint is, like, cracked like that. That doesn't happen on the rest of the sword. Like, take a look. Like, it, it does kind of, but, like, and a friend of mine got an Agrippa from them. No problems whatsoever. Looks fine. Looks great. There are no bubbles like this. So, I contacted Kalamaseal, and I said, you know, I'm worried, because in especially this one, with it being on the outer edge, and I just do this with my finger, I can feel it pulling on my finger. If that catches something, this is going to tear, and the tip is going to get torn. It's going to get. It's called shear, um, like sh it old shorn, is what it is. But like that, that's going to catch, and that's going to rip off. Is what's going to happen. So, I'm a little disappointed that I was sent a used sword. So I messaged Kalamaseal. And I said, you know, I just wanted to run this by you guys to make sure that this is acceptable, that this is okay. And they sent the response back that, oh, that hole is supposed to be there. It helps keep the core center. So in other words, they said, oh, yeah, this hole is supposed to be there, but we're going to not even acknowledge that this one is here. We're just going to pretend it doesn't exist. Oh, okay. So, like, uh, long story short, even if this is durable and it's okay for sparring, I'm not happy with this because this looks like it has been used hard for about a month and it has not been maintained. That, that's what this looks like. And when I attempted to contact Kalamaseal to get a replacement or to see if I could send it back, I found out not only would I have to pay for shipping to ship it back, but I would have to pay for um, insurance on it or else if something happened to it, I'm just shit out of luck. So, for a 90-something dollar sword, it's going to cost me about 30 to 35 dollars just to send it back. At that point, I might as well just keep it, even if it looks like shit. I'm just, I learned my lesson. I'm never going to buy from them again. So, if you do choose to buy from Kalamazoo, and I, I do apologize if this video seems a bit ranty, um... Because there are apparently a lot of people that have gotten really good weapons from Kalamaseal. And that's great. That's great for them. I'm glad they got lucky. I got fucked over. And I got what I say is a used sword. This looks used to me. This looks like it's been refurbished and shipped back out again. And I paid for a new weapon. I did not pay for something that's refurbished. I paid for a new sword. This does not look new. This looks refurbished. Heavily refurbished. So I'm not too happy with Kalamazoo. I'm not happy with how they handled their customer service. I'm not happy with how they handled just in general what was going on. And I learned my lesson. I'm never going to buy from them again. That's, that's just how it's going to go. So... I just, that's, that's the way it goes. It's the luck of the draw. And so if you do decide to go Kalamazoo, uh, just a word of warning to someone who got the bad end of the draw, be aware that if you get one that looks like shit, Kalamazoo is not going to replace it. And if you do decide to mail it back, you're going to have to pay about $30 extra to get a new one, even though it's, 100% satisfaction guaranteed if you pay for it. If you pay the extra money for it, then, then it's satisfaction guaranteed. Otherwise, too bad. Get used to it. Or hope you like it because you're not swapping it. So just, I'm really disappointed. I'm 
really disappointed with how Kalamazoo handled that. Um, and I'm kind of disappointed I was lied to. Or, like, I'm just, I'm just disappointed because, like, as an example, like, I sent messages into them, and I had an email that I sent eight pictures in. And as an example... Um, I sent those pictures in, okay, hang on, so it was, I got this at 3.54, sorry, I'm trying to, oh, wait, 44 minutes ago, and then if I look at my sent emails, Fifty-seven minutes ago, so I sent them eight pictures, and they expect me to believe that within eight minutes, roughly, because it's forty. It was what 50, 57 to forty-four, so that would be about eleven. It would be, it would be about ten minutes, I guess. No, it would be about twelve minutes. They sent. They, they, the email actually was received. They opened those eight pictures, examined them closely, had the production team look at them in detail, then had the production team talk to the customer service rep, who then wrote, it was a response about this long. I'm, I'm not joking. Like It was like a three-paragraph response, getting back to me saying, oh, no, that's there are some minor blemishes, but that's that's normal. It, it's not normal. And according to everyone that I've talked to about Kalamazoo, that is not normal. What, really? Like, that's... So, be aware. Th this is a warning to other people that purchase Kalamazoo. If you get one that you're not happy with, don't bother trying to trade it in or do anything else because it's not worth the pain and effort. And honestly, after this experience, I'm never ordering from them again, nor am I going to recommend them to other people. Now, because I don't want one of my friends to get a used sword that they paid for a new one for. I'm going to look for somebody else because that's not okay. You, you can't do that especially to your customer base. You need to have quality control. That is used. I don't care what Kalamazoo says. This was used before it got to me. Because those micro bubbles, yeah, okay, maybe those happen, or those, those holes, but um, this, the tearing that I'm seeing of the paint along the edges, that's from use. That, that is, does not happen because of micro bubbles. That is from use. That is from wear and tear. This is a used sword that I was sent. That I paid for a fucking new one. So, I'm not happy with Kalamazoo. I am not going to buy from them again. I do not recommend you buy from them. Buy from somebody else if you can, or wait for a sale. And even then, I don't know how long this is going to last. Because I actually sparred with it. And I could already tell, like, that one was not, like, I could already tell it was taking cosmetic damage just from one sparring session. So, and my friend's blade, like, wasn't damaged as much. So, I don't know if I got a, just a sh really, really sh Um, I may or may, I'm just, I'm disappointed. I, I'm very disappointed in Kalamazoo. I expected a lot more, and they really fell through. So, I expected more from them. Especially after all the positive reviews that I had heard, I was really excited, and I got a, I got a used sword that I paid new for. So, Anyways, sorry if this seems really ranty and, like, ragey. I'm just, I'm really pissed off. And, frankly, like, if I had known that's the product I would have gotten, I never would have placed an order. So, be aware, you're rolling a roulette with, you're, you're playing Russian roulette with Kalmaseal. If you do decide to order with them, you may get something good, you may get shit.
So, and actually, I have uh, something else that'll prove it too. I also ordered bracers from them. Now, these are metal bracers, and they're new, right? But guess again, they sent me something else that's been used. If you look, and I don't know how well this is going to show up, but, um, because this fucking camera does not focus. I don't know if you can see it, but, like, I can see this has been heavily, like, scratched. Like, it looks like it's been pretty beat up. Like, like, and then there's stuff like that. Like, it just, it kind of looks like it's, it looks like someone has been using it for LARPing, and then they shipped it back out again. And then, like, the inside of it, I can see is all scratched up, and it's just... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just not happy with Kalamazoo. I expected more. I expected better of them. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.